welcome back to our channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, comment, share this with all of your competitor friends, and show us some love because not only does this help us as a channel grow, but it helps you too because currently we are running our eighth annual Sean's Couture Cuties Athlete Search. So if you ever wanted to be sponsored by a fantastic female focused brand, now is your opportunity. Keep watching. Also check out the description box below and find out how you can enter to win a sponsorship yourself. Now, what does it mean to build your authentic brand? Let's talk. So I talked about this a couple years ago at Cuties Conquer the Stage. This was my um, this was my topic at the at the event, part of it. And basically, what I mean when I say developing your authentic brand is creating um, a, a version of you that you want other people to resonate with, right? So, um, back a lot of times what happens is we go on to Instagram, social media, things like that, and we see everybody else and what they're doing as far as how they're posting, um, how, they're, how they're interacting with people on social media. And we try to develop a persona similar to what they're doing, right? Um, big thing when Instagram first started was everybody, you know, doing the, the whole booty out, you know, ass shaking, all that OnlyFans kind of crap. You know what I mean? That was like what everybody did, you know? Cause that was, that was, that was what was making, getting head, getting eyes, getting, making headway, all of that. That's not your authentic brand though, right? Um, you have to sit back and think about what the message is that you want to send to people that may be watching, right? And understanding that even though it may not be, you know, the, the ass shaking where everybody looks at you all the time kind of thing, it's still you and it's still your authentic brand. And there's nothing wrong with you creating yourself and your image how you want it. I alluded to this a little bit in my post today, meaning that you need to find a way to communicate with your audience and tell them what you're about and show them what you're about. And in order to do that, you have to know what you're about, right? You have to know what that is that you want to actually portray to people. You, you, you have to build it backwards. You have to know what your end goal is and build backwards, right? For me here on this platform, my goal is always education of female competitors. That is my goal. That is my authentic brand here on Sean's Couture Cuties, right? Everything that I do here, I want it to be a way to educate you and make you a better competitor, right? That's my authentic brand here on this page. That is my goal, the suit stage style. We design a champion style. It all is, is that, right? That's here, that's my authentic brand. That is what I choose to put out here on for my business, right? it's not gonna be the most popular thing ever because it's got a very small audience in the grand scheme of things, right? It's got a very small audience in the grand scheme of things. Half of the population is out because they're men. You know, I'm only reaching half of the population, which are women, but that's okay. My goal is not to have a whole bunch of likes and comments and clicks and all that kind of stuff. That's not my goal. My goal is to reach the people that resonate with my authentic brand and what I want to give out to the world, right? Absolutely, the education is endless from you. Thank you, you're welcome. Come on with the knowledge, Mama Cutie. You gotta know yourself to, to know how you want to present yourself. That's exactly right. You know, there's, there's an old saying where it says, dress for the job that you want, not the job that you have. You have to know what that job is that you want. What do you eventually want? What do you want to be your legacy? What do you want to be the thing that people know you for? What is it? You need to know what that is first. And like I always said, then you build your, build your, build your way backwards from it. The first thing you have to do is figure out what you want, how you want people to be looking at you. What you, what, what you want them to get from you, right? Yes, preach. Yes, the power of impact. Yes, yes, absolutely. And again, this goes back to it's not always a numbers game. You know, I don't have millions of followers, nor do I want them. My brand doesn't speak to millions of people. My brand speaks to, to the select few. 
right? My brand speaks to the select few. And those are my people. Those are my tribe. Those are the people that I want my brand to reach. That's my authentic self, right? I could go out there and try to get all this stuff out there for clicks and all this kind of thing. Trust me, it's really easy to do that. <laughs> but what happens in the process of doing that is you lose the people who really resonate with your authentic self. You, res you lose the people who are here talking to me every night, right? Because it's no longer personal and it's no longer authentic. How do you do the deep work to figure out what you want and who you, and what you are? That might be too open. That's a very open-ended question. Speak it. It ain't for everybody. Yeah, when it comes to when it comes to finding out who you are and what you want, nobody can do that for you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it yourself. You gotta figure out what you want. You gotta figure out what your what your voice wants to be. Right? I can't sit here and tell tell you what that's gonna be. I can't do that. Right? Clicks and clout. You're building a community. Absolutely. 100%. And that's the whole thing. I want a community of people. It's not a, uh, it's not a country of people. It's a community, right? So, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to figure out what it is that you want. And again, going back to, you got to figure out, you got to figure that out. Like, I can't sit here and tell you that, right? Some people go out there and they have a huge amount of followers. You know what I mean? Like I'm sitting here with a bang energy drink. You know, you've all, you've all drank a bang at some point or another. They have millions and millions and millions of people in their community or their country or whatever you want to call it. And that's their brand. And that's totally, that's totally them too. And that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to figure out what yours is. There's very few people out there that are going to make a living off of just social media right? Putting up some booty shots, things like that. You're probably not going to make a living doing that. Some people do. Like the 0.2%, <laughs> you know, the 0.2% make their money that way. Everybody else doesn't, right? So I freaking love this community. Yes, me too. So, you know, going back and then you go over to my, my personal page, right? So my personal page has a little bit of a different branding note to it. Like I try to show a little bit of my personality. I'm a little funny. I'm a little goofy. I'm a little glamorous. But I also, whenever I do my reels, I'm doing it as an education. Because still at the end of the day, that's my authentic brand. Even from this Instagram over to my personal Instagram. They complement each other. Right? The two of them complement each other. They're not vastly different in the messaging. My personal Instagram is more about me, right? Whereas this Instagram is all about you. But when you nail it down and you take everything away, it's still about education on both of them, right? Great book, find your why. There you go, there's a book, there's a book um, recommendation for you. Perfect, perfect, yeah. And it's not going to come to you overnight, right? It's something that's going to develop over time. I tell people this all the time. Like when it came to what I do here, when I was a kid, you never would have told me that this is what I was going to do for a living because it didn't exist. You know what I do? I'm the only one that does what I do. I'm, I'm it. I'm the only one. Nobody else out there does what I do. I created it, which is pretty freaking awesome. I have to tell you, it's pretty freaking awesome. But it came from knowing where I wanted to end up and building backwards. And of course, as you develop, things are going to change. Things are going to be a little bit different as you develop through your, through your brand and all of that stuff too. You have to be willing to pivot. You have to be willing to make uh, changes and things like that, right? You're so real and relatable. Always trying to make people their best versions of themselves. Absolutely. Because you know what? And I'll go back to that too because I know whatever I put out into the universe, I get back. And I know that. I know that 100% for a fact. So I need to hear that part about education on both. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, that's okay. That's all right. You can play it back when we finish, right? Yes, it's amazing. Yes, yes. And, you know, and that's the whole thing. It's like this community is what I'm all about. You know, I don't need millions of followers like Bang. I don't need that. I'm not, that's not my community, right? Much as I like Bang. <laughs> that's not my community. <laughs> You guys are my community, right? You guys are the ones that matter to me, right? 
it's the confidence for me. As, as women, it's so important to celebrate our accomplishments, especially when um, changing when we are changing lives. Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah, it's and it's it's and again going back to the concept of it's not something that happens overnight. It's something you develop along over the, over time. And it's okay to be a little bit unsure of yourself at first. I sure as hell was. I had no freaking clue what I was doing. I knew nothing about business when I started my business. Thank God for my husband who showed me the ropes. You know what I mean? He's built a thousand different businesses in his day and he helped me build this. You know, like I had no idea what I was doing. Now, I feel like I have a decent, I have a decent grasp of what I was, do of what I'm doing. Like if I needed to go and build another business, I could do it. You know, I know how to do it now. I'll still have bumps. I also have, you know, things I have to, to change and things that I have to, that I have to pivot with and all of that. And I swear, every time I say the word pivot, I think of friends, but, um, <laughs> every single time I think, of, I think of that scene with Ross anyway. Um, but I have to think about those things. I'd have to think about those things, obviously, if I want to go build another business, but I'm at the point now where I feel like I could do it again. You know what I mean? Yes, snap. So encouraging women at its best. Yes, yes. And authentic on and off social media makes it easier, more relatable to followers. Absolutely. And that's the thing too. Like I am the same person here as I am when you meet me in real life. And I get that all the time from people. Like you look just like you do on Instagram. Oh, you laugh just like you do on Instagram. I could hear your laugh in the audience. I hear that so many times. I can't tell you how many times people come up to me and say they, they, they found me because of my laugh. Like that's me. That's my, my authentic brand. That's part of who I am. That's part of this authenticity right? You're amazing in person and social media. Thank you. So are you. Dan is amazing. You guys are a perfect blend of business. Yeah. And it works out really, really well because we are yin and yang. You know, I'm better at things that he's not and vice versa. So it works out very, very good. You know, like he, he likes being behind the scenes. He doesn't like being like, he doesn't like being face to camera like this. He wouldn't do this kind of thing. Right? Like the cutie, cutest car from the stage. He doesn't, doesn't go He's behind the scenes working stuff. You know what I mean? That's where he thrives. I'm the opposite. I thrive in front of you guys, right? That's where I love being. So you have to have that yin and yang in a partnership. And like I've said before, if two of you can do the same thing or think the same way, one of you is not necessary. That's just bottom line. When you partner up with somebody, they better be able to do stuff that you can't do. And like I said in my post the other day too, if you're the smartest one in the room, you got to find another room. Find somebody who's better than you at other stuff. Right? I had someone tell me I look better in person. That's good. <laughs> you're just awesome and real in person. Well, thank you. Thank you. You know, and, and, and I, I, cause I enjoy this stuff. You know, again, going back to authentic. This is not an act, you guys. This is this is me. This is what I do. This is my authentic self. This is who I am. I'm goofy. I'm silly. I'm a mess sometimes. Um, and other times I, I got my shit together too. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Say a lot of the people in the back, right? Right, right? Yeah. And that's, and that's what I mean by developing your authentic brand. And it doesn't have to happen overnight. Like I said before, it doesn't have to happen overnight. It's something that you develop. You develop over time. So again, the best way to do this is to think of a long-term goal. Like what would you like to have happen long-term and then work your way backwards. You know, something that I, that I kind of restructured this past year was doing the BSPNs, you know, doing the show coverage. That's something that I've always done just talking to you guys and talking to my friends in the industry and, you know, evaluating the shows. That's just something I've always done. And then people were like, you know, you really need to do more of this. Like you need to make it a real thing. And that's where I developed BSPN, right? That developed. And this year I hope to develop it even further. You know, I'd like to get to the point where I can cover shows like that on a regular basis. You know what I mean? So again, that's something that developed over the last year. Right. So as you grow and as you change and as you develop through your your authentic brand, then the vision's going to develop and grow, too. So you got to find somewhere to start, work your way backwards and then be willing to pivot. That's that's the, the basic gist of it right there.
right? Missed some comments. Hang on. You're real. Thank you. Your facial expressions you do and post are the best and shows you're always your true self. Yeah, I, I can't hide my emotions on my face. Let me tell you. I'm not, I'm a terrible liar because you can see it in my facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> I started investing in you because of your knowledge and personality on the live video. You know, that's one of the things we started doing live videos um, three years ago now. I think I've been doing this for almost three years. It'll be three years this spring is when I started doing the, the daily live feeds. And this has been the number one most impactful thing in our business over the last three years. Because just like you said, people started realizing, oh, she's a real person. Oh, I can actually like... I, I see she's real. I see she's authentic. I see she actually knows what she's doing and she can she can talk to us off the cuff and it's not scripted. You know, those those things matter. In today's world, you don't know what's real and what's not most of the time. There's a lot of, of fake people out there. There's a lot of fake brands. There's a lot of fakeness in general out there, right? So when you find something that's real, it's attractive. So even though I'm goofy sometimes and I'm weird and I'm crazy sometimes, that's real, right? And people, people resonate with that. And again, that was something that really, really helped our brand over the last three years. See, I only want to do shows with you there because you're so real and supportive. Aw. Yes, my first show of the season will be one, with, one you will be at. Yes. I want to go to Pittsburgh so I can finally meet you. Yes, you should. That's how I got into bodybuilding. So many people told me I should do a show, and I finally did. There you go. This is a Sunday service, okay? <laughs> right? Yes. And you're consistent. Yes, consistency is big. Consistency is big. That's something that a lot of people screw up. If you can just be consistent about things, people will start to rely on you. If you can't be consistent, that is the easiest way to lose people's trust. The easiest way to lose people's trust. I talk about, I've talked about this a few times, like in my stories and stuff. I see it all the time. People, especially on Instagram and social media in general, like it's really easy for people to come out with the next biggest and greatest thing that they're going to do. And then like two weeks later, they stop doing it. Okay. And then, you know, three weeks later, they start something else. And it's the new big, biggest, greatest thing that they're ever going to do. And they stop doing it two weeks later. You lose complete credibility when you do that. Just stay consistent. It's okay to change, like I said, to, to pivot when you need to pivot, but stay consistent. Consistency is king, you guys. Consistency is king. It really is. I love how there's a flow and there's no set design. I love the vision develops as you develop. Absolutely, yes. Yes, <laughs> You'll have Mama Cutie for all the perfect coaching stage tips and me screaming from the audience. There you go. These are how I found you. Someone sent me a feed about a question I had in 2020. I've been following you ever since. There you go. See? Exactly. Exactly. And I get people all the time that DM me and ask me if I've done a done this topic or that topic. And I'm like, yeah, I've been doing this for three years. So I've, I've done all those topics. <laughs> what I have to do this year um, is get all these topics put onto YouTube. That's what I need to do. And, you know, like I've said before, as we move through the years, the trends in the sport change and things like that too. So we do need to update a lot of that stuff as well. Like I could take all my Instagram videos off of here and just, just put them onto YouTube. But a lot of the information has, has changed as we moved along too. So, um, so as we go through this year, I will be doing more of those topics over again and then putting them on YouTube as well. So... Yeah, so, you know, it's it can seem overwhelming at first, but really, like I said, what it boils down to is knowing where you want to end up, working your way backwards, being being willing to pivot and as your vision changes and develops and staying consistent. That last that last one was a good one to add in there for sure. Staying consistent is huge. If you even like and I said this the other day, even if you're not making a whole lot of progress, you know, even if you're just, you seems like you're staying a little stagnant sometimes, just stay consistent. Eventually, it will pay off if you just stay consistent. Prep is a great example of that. You know what I mean? Like when you're going through your off season and then you go into prep, it's like all of a sudden something will just click. Like that happened to me as soon as Cuties was over with, as soon as CCTS was over with, all of a sudden I went from like looking like I was in off season to looking like I was in prep overnight. 
And for me, it was really just because my, my, um, stress level went down. So I think my body was able to finally say, Oh, we can like be normal now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I really think that's what it was. Like literally when I look at pictures of myself in the week before CCTS and then the day after CCTS, I'm like, is that the same person? <laughs> I'm like, she doesn't even look like the same girl. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like I had a big weight drop or anything like that. It was just inflammation. It was stress, but it was also because I stayed consistent. I stayed consistent going forward. Because I stayed consistent, even through all that stress, once I got through it, once I got to the other side of it, my body was like, okay, we good. We good now, right? We, we can move forward now, right? Because I stayed consistent on it, right? Any questions, you guys? Any questions? This was good. You guys are, were giving some really good input. I really liked that consistency input. That was good. All of a sudden, the comments stopped. So, so many comments. So I know the comments are still working. I don't. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I want to make sure the comments are still working. <laughs> Absolutely. In the book, Atomic Habits, which I recommend to everyone, he says, nothing you ever do is wasted. It's simply stored. That's perfect. That's absolutely correct. And that can be true in a good way. And that can also be true in a bad way too. You know what I mean? So like if you're doing bad things and you're not being consistent and you're being consistently bad, that can show up too. That can show up too. So that's why I always say like putting good things out there every day, you know, regardless of what you get back every day, eventually it's going to come back to you in a good way. Eventually it's going to come back. Right? Yes, Atomic Habits. I'm going to have to look that one up. Atomic Habits, James Clear. Okay, I got it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look that one up myself because I haven't heard that, but I like that. I like that. I like that for sure. But it's true, man. That's why I said, like, some days you can get really, it can get really discouraging sometimes, you know? It really can. I mean, we all know that. We have our down days and things like that. But if you just, keep, I always say, like, if you just keep going, if you just keep going, eventually you're going to break through. Eventually, you're going to find that eureka moment. And I really credit that to working on this business right here. Because there were so many times, anybody who's ever, who's ever built a business, you know this. There are times when you think you just have to throw the towel in. You think that everything is going to come crashing down. And somehow, as long as you stay consistent and you keep pushing forward, that doesn't happen. There were so many times building this thing that I thought I wasn't gonna be able to make it through. So many times. And every time, as long as we kept pushing, we found a way through it, every time. And came out better on the other side. And I really believe that's a metaphor for life. Like I really think that you can do that with everything in life. I really do. And I, I'm thankful that I, I took the risk to build my business in order to do that because I've really seen it play out. Q's conversation last year was a perfect example. A normal, like, we don't, it's just, when it comes to building these events, it's just me and my husband. We don't have investors. We don't have this. We don't have that. It's us. That's it. If we don't put the work in, it doesn't happen. So most people last year with COVID and all the restrictions would have just said, okay, we're going to take this year and not do it. We sat there and said, we're going to take this year and we have to do it. I don't care what happens. It's going to happen. Because we're going to be the people that stand up and do this when everybody else quits. And I'm so thankful that we did that. I'm so thankful that we did that. We just stayed consistent. And we pushed through. Yeah, it was tough. We had to adjust things like the week, the week before the event, the capacity restrictions changed. It was tough. But we didn't give up and we came out on the other side better. Much better. Because people like you saw us being consistent and saw us not giving up, which made you not give up. And if you can do that, that's going to help you build your, build your authentic brand. Like that. Let's see. I missed a couple of comments here. I think how people respond to you is good for your brand. You get so many positive comments and that makes people want to work with you. Absolutely. I love how real you are. First time I saw you, I thought she's someone I want to know. I love that. Same thing with you. You know, when you did that worm, right? <laughs> uh, success is on the other side of fear. It is. 
It is. And you just got to push through it. Absolutely. It was an amazing event. We really need the event, the sisterhood and Mama Cutie. Yeah. And that's what I said too. I said last year specifically, I was like, there's no way we're not doing this. We have to make it happen. One way or another, it is going to happen. And if you have that kind of uh, thought through everything that you do in your life, you're going to make some really good shit happen in your life. You're going to make some really good shit happen in your life. And it takes a lot of work. And it takes a lot of effort. And it takes a lot of pushing through, through fear. And getting on the other side of that fear. It takes a lot of that. But you know what? Once you, <laughs> once you do it once, it's not quite so scary anymore. Once you know you can do it, you're not really that scary anymore. Now you're like, oh shit, I, can, I got this. Yeah, that looks like a big hurdle, but I got this. Try it. Try it once. And you'll see. Yeah, this ended up being a, a, a church session, a preaching session today. <laughs> it's not what, I, not what I planned on going down all of this, but it's cool. I love it. I love when you guys are... Um, have your input and stuff like that. It makes it easier for me to have a conversation with you, you know? Love these live feeds. Thank you, Sean. And so glad I found you. Yes, glad I found you too. Newly sponsored athlete right there. Yeah. So any other questions you guys have for tonight? For those of you that were at Cuties Car from the Stage, um, I think almost all of the pictures are uploaded now from that link. That, uh, that Zach put up. I noticed there were some more uh, in there as of today, so go check it out. All the awards are there and all that kind of stuff, so go check out those pictures. Let him use you. Absolutely. Yep. Like, amen, right? Monday service. Yes, I love it. Monday. <laughs> Monday motivation, Monday service. <laughs> I love that. So, athlete search starts tomorrow, you guys. Starts tomorrow. So if you're not already on the, yeah, the T-Rex, <laughs> yeah, before I go to the athlete search, so looking through the, the pictures, so this is Jennifer's little signature move. Of all things, this is Jennifer's signature move. And there are pictures of both me and Jennifer doing this at the same time, our T-Rex arms. <laughs> those tonight I was dying I was laughing so hard <laughs> so yeah t-rex of all things to be a signature move t-rex is the signature move <laughs> oh my goodness gracious actually you know what I wonder I've never done this before but I wonder if I can pull tapping a photo of you share it we'll show it right away okay let me see if I can do this I don't know if I oh no like, I don't know where they are. No, I'm not going to screw around with this because I ended up showing some random photos. Oh, well, I was going to try. I was going to try and put up the, video, the photos, but we'll just post them later. <laughs> uh, anyway, athlete search starts tomorrow. So make sure you check in your emails. Uh, make sure that you whitelist our emails so they go into your inbox, not your spam. Okay. Because uh, we are launching it tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So this is where we pick our sponsored athletes for the year. Uh, so just be paying attention because that's going to launch. And I'll make sure that I, I let you guys know on here and everything too, but you know you're going to get it in your inbox first as long as you're on our, our list and everything. You're going to get our inbox uh, email first, right? Cracking up. I have the video. I know, right? Oh, my God. It's so funny. It's so funny. Yes, and she definitely owns that move, 100%. Like, that is hers. You can't – nobody else can take that. <laughs> Nobody else, nobody else can take that from her. Definitely not. Definitely not. Hey, authentic brand right there. That's your authentic brand. <laughs> oh my God. All right. That was fun. So I think that's it for tonight. So yeah, we gave away our, gave away our final crown earlier tonight to Vicky. She was on. So thankfully we got a chance. She got a chance to see it. Um, then she had to go back to work. Athlete search, start, athlete search starts tomorrow. Um, if you're competing this spring, my spring show schedule is up through till the first week of May. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably this week go through May and June. 
Um, the only reason why I haven't done it yet is because that's when I'm gonna start competing. So uh, I have to kind of figure out which shows I'm gonna be at and which ones I'm gonna be working at. So that's next on the list. Um, I think that's everything. Thanks again so much for joining us here on our YouTube channel. We do go live on Instagram, but we are going to start going live here on YouTube as well. So you really want to make sure that you're subscribed. You have those notifications turned on that you're commenting and you're liking so that you can stay in the know and you can come on live and ask questions yourself. We'll see you back here next time.